Good morning guys. Welcome back to another week in my life. I am at the hospital today. I'm doing a full 12 hour shift, which makes me exhausted thinking about it. But we do not have to work tomorrow. We are gonna work on putting in our fireplace at my house tomorrow with my brother. We're on a cardiac like step down floor today at one of the hospitals I work at. Should be okay, hopefully. We're gonna cross our fingers. Um, but yeah, that is what we're doing today. I'll probably talk to you guys once I'm done working. So I just got off work. Um, I am actually on time. I only ended with two patients, so that's nice. That usually doesn't happen. I kind of pissed a nurse off, unfortunately. <laughs> um, basically they wanted me to take this patient from the ER that was on a cardiac drip that I have never been personally trained on. Um, so I didn't feel comfortable taking them. Apparently they do take it on these step down floors, but where I originally came from, they only take that medication in the ICU. Um, the medication's like Gardapine or Cardine. Now, from a personal standpoint, I feel like I could definitely handle it and like it, it's okay. Like I could easily handle it, but I feel like since I wasn't trained on it, it's not appropriate for me to take that medication, putting the patient at risk and my own license at risk. That's my opinion on that. Um, the nurse did not like that opinion. Unfortunately, I did offer, I was like, I'm sorry, I will help admit this patient with you. I will do everything you need me to do for this patient. Like it's, I know it sucks, it's shift change. Like I had two patients and she had three and she was getting a fourth, which I don't like, I don't want that to happen either. Trust me, I do not. But she was just very angry that that happened and she was kind of taking it out on me, unfortunately, but I'm not gonna risk my license. I'm not gonna risk the patient's safety. And if I'm not trained in something, I don't wanna do that, so. That's what happened. It was an unfortunate situation. Um, but we're gonna go home now and that's what we're gonna do. Romantic dinner for two. Or make that three with Doug. Looks good. Thanks for making it. Mm -hmm. Time to read my book and go to bed. Good morning guys. As you can tell, I'm off today. It is Tuesday. Um, my brother's actually coming to build our fireplace. So we're putting in like a shiplap electric fireplace on our, in our house. He did it in his house and I actually really like the way it looks. So we are doing that. Um, hopefully we get it all done today. That would be ideal. And I'm meeting him at Lowe's right now to pick up all the stuff, which means we probably won't get it all done today because the mantle would have already had to be stained. So, oh well, we'll get it done. As long as the fireplace and stuff is mostly in, that's okay. Um, I really just wanted like some sort of fireplace before winter hit. That would be nice, so we will have that. So I'm heading to Lowe's. I will see you guys then. We just went to Lowe's and got all the stuff. I got us coffee. And my coffee has like a little pumpkin drawing on it. It's so cute. Um, if you're in the Eureka area, I highly suggest Orange Couch Coffee. It is so good. So, heading home now. My brother got a caramel latte and I got a pumpkin cream cold brew. We've got the base pieces up. Now we're making the walls. You're doing good. Coming along. This is our finished product. I love it. The man the mantle obviously still hasn't been put in. Um, but I love it. It looks great. Doug loves it. It actually makes our room feel so much bigger, so I'm excited and very happy about it. Pork and peppers. All right, so last you guys saw, we built our fireplace. 
um it looked amazing i love it um then i ended up making dinner we had well i guess you did see my pork and rice briefly um that was pretty good and then i read my book did a load of laundry and went to bed so now we are up we are going to the hospital today i am on the neuroscience floor um and i'm only there till three so should be a good day i feel really bad because he really wants to go on a walk i just got home and it's raining out so he can't go on a walk dougie we cannot i know we can't we can't go on a walk today was a good day i was on neuroscience i had five patients um, one discharged and I was able to leave somewhat on time, but then I had to go do my um, CPR like compression stuff to stay up to date and that was um, Messed up so it took me a little longer so, so Yeah, like the mannequin wouldn't like Sense that I was ventilating basically because you have to do ventilations and compressions on adult and child and it wasn't ventilating. But I did get an awesome package. I got my newbie. I'm excited. This is my September, October bag. And it already looks like fall. Let's see if these are gonna fit me. Not too hopeful. These are just red leather pants. I'm not super hopeful on that fit. <laughs> um, but they are the brand Pistola. I should have known because I know that those run small, but I liked that color. So I got that. Then I got, since it's still going to be like, oh, there's still tags on these. Since it's still going to be kind of warmer out. I got these red free people overalls since the other free people jump jean like romper worked out well. I got this and this is what I got the white turtleneck for. So we'll try that. Then I got two pairs of pants. I was feeling risky this month because I don't know if these will fit either. But <laughs> these are a goldie like cargo pants. We'll try them on. Um, a Goldie also runs a little different in my sizing, it feels like. And then, let's see this. This is very fall. That is so cute. I love that. It's like a brown with like black floral flowy top. Cute. This, I was, this was like the one thing I was like unsure about. But I feel like denim's like super in right now. It's like a denim, it's like a light jacket slash like shirt. So we'll try that. Then the last thing I got, I guess I got three kind of, or four kind of pant vibes. Hopefully these all fit. And these are new with tags. These are leather overalls and they actually look like they'll probably fit. Um. They are from the brand Avec Les Feel. I guess it means with the girls in French. But it's, they're actually long and I'm pretty tall. So we will see how that looks. But I thought that would be cute. I'm going to like a witch's night out and I was like, leather would probably good, be good for like a witch's night with some like spooky makeup. Um, but that is my newly package. Put this all back in here. I will try all this on actually this month and let you know how it looks. If it looks good, <laughs> probably. Um, I'm not expecting these pants to fit. I will say that. They don't look promising. We're going to try those on later. I need to go to the gym. I really wanted, I've been trying to do 
8, 3.30 to work myself up to 12, 3.30. So that is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick and get a water and we're gonna go. All right guys, so I am back from the gym and I'm not gonna lie, 8, 3.30, <laughs> You'd think it'd be easy, but it, I definitely have to convince myself, like, you got this, you got this. Lots of encouragement throughout. Um, but I did it, and now it's always, like, I feel so much better after a workout, and I, like, truly mean that. Like, I feel, like, refreshed and awake and good now, but, like, during that workout, it's just so painful. Um, but I did do 12, 3, 30, or 8, 3, 30, trying to slowly work up to 12, 3, 30 is my plan. I am at all my fitness goals today. I'm at 120%. Um, I try to burn 700 calories a day, work out 30 minutes a day, and then obviously stand for 12 hours. My step goal is 10,000, 10, I think. Um, but I don't really look at that as much as I look at my other rings, but I have met all my rings. So I share my activity with a couple of my friends now after this weekend. And it's actually pretty cool because I can look back and be like, wow, I am I could do better. <laughs> it's very encouraging for me, like I could do better. But that's been pretty fun to look at. I'm going to make this one pan roasted potatoes and sausage and peppers from Skinny Taste. It says it takes like an 45 minutes to cook, so I'm gonna start that now. All right, we got dinner in the oven. Here it is, beautiful. It's gotta cook for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna shower. I did some dishes, but there's still a lot left. I'm gonna go ahead and shower, and then dinner should be ready. Happy Thursday. Um, I am running slightly behind this morning. It is 7.03. I am at the clinic today. This. We'll see if <laughs> this probably won't be the last time I'm at the clinic, but we are going to our meeting today after the clinic to see what this new job is. It is at a pizza place. I don't know. We're going to see how it is after work. My dad's going to let out Doug this afternoon since I won't be home. And we're going to see how the clinic goes today. So. We gotta get there because we're running behind, but I will catch you guys later. I just got home. It looks like our power actually went out, so that's cool. I went to the event for my work. It actually sounds like it's gonna be inpatient, similar to what I do at the other hospital. So I think that'll work out. I'm also gonna apply probably to a PRN position at the clinic that I'm at. I might make less money, so we'll see how that goes, but we got food and it was great and I got a swag bag, so that was good. And Dougie's home and Ian just got home, so we're going to talk to him, see how his day went, but the clinic was good, I was in podiatry all day, everything was good. Doug and I are on our walk. Um, we just wanted to get some movement in today because, I don't know, I'm just trying to be a little more proactive and wanting to move more, um, do more for my body. Um, and Doug has been cooped up all day, so I felt bad. So we are on a walk. We're on a short walk because it rained a little bit before we got home and it's still kind of thundering. So we're just doing like a 30 minute walk. We're about halfway through and yeah that is what we're doing so i got canceled today so that was fun i'm staying home but that means i'm gonna edit a video for you guys and get that up from my weekend in my life from last week so that's what i'm doing this morning and i can work out edit a bit edit a video work out and asleep that's why i'm like whispering and be on time for my blues thing tonight that I'm going to with my dad and stepmom and Ian. So that is what we're doing. I actually was like so exhausted last night and I was kind of like, maybe I'll get canceled. So it did work out, but 
I don't know. I picked up shifts for next week. Probably work at the clinic more next week since it's going away. But that is what I'm doing. Ann and I are heading out to, I just uh, finished my vlog for last weekend and that will be up soon. Now we are heading to Rally House and we're gonna return stuff that we didn't use for the fireplace at Lowe's. So that is where we're headed. So I'm gonna try on my newly clothes for you. This is kind of like the only place I can do it. So bear with me, but I wanna try them on and see if I like them. These are the red leather pants. Um, they're kind of short. I had to like put them down lower so I would have to wear a longer shirt. But I do like these. They're comfortable. I just don't know what I'm gonna wear on top. I could maybe wear my, maybe this jacket that I got with it. I do like the, de the jean um, shirt jacket thing. And these pants are really comfortable. So I'm gonna try to make something work. I could like button it up and wear this like a shirt with it. I don't know, it might be a little too much. The next thing I got were these jeans. I just got this shirt for the blues game, or not the blues game, but a blues thing tonight. But these are goldy and I actually was thinking they weren't gonna fit, but they do and I really like the way they look. They're like cargo pant jeans and I was gonna wear it with this shirt. So I'll probably wear this tonight to the blues uh, event. And then I got this shirt. It is so fall. I actually really love it. It's free people. Um, very cute, blowy. This will be perfect for like a casual outfit. The next thing I got was this set of overalls. These are so cute. I also got this at Nordstrom Rack in my last vlog to go with these. I think these are perfect for game day. Like I went to the University of Arkansas. This is perfect Razorback gear. I love it. This one I'm definitely gonna have to wear when it's colder because it is pretty warm. But I plan on wearing it like mid-October and it's gonna be like a night out type vibe. It's for witches night out and I actually really enjoy the fit. It's so comfortable. Um, it's black leather and it's overall so it's different and then it zips up the side. But I think it's so cute. Maybe a little bit tight on my boobs but I love it. I think it looks good. All right, guys, so that is everything I got on Newly this month. I'm really excited to try it all out. If you want to see what it looks like on me, how I style it, go check out my Instagram. Um, it's just Hannah Weber 523 I'll put it across the screen here somewhere. If you try it out and love what you get or get something to match me, definitely tag me and show me because I'd love to see you guys in these fits. They are so cute. Yeah, I'm really surprised that everything fit because last month there was like one or two items that didn't fit and like my sizing obviously, not everything's gonna fit, but every single thing fit. Might have been a little snug, but it did fit. So we're gonna try everything out this month. Hopefully I'll get a chance to wear it all. I already have events and things to go to that I wanna try it out at and I'm excited. I think my newly bag was actually a really good find this month so if you guys want to check it out it's just newly.com i don't have any sort of codes or anything but if newly does want to work with me just let me know because i would love to work with you but yeah that is my newly like september october box i am probably going to relax and hang out until it's time to go to this blues and brews thing at anheuser-busch brewery downtown we are going, it starts at 6, it's about 1.30 now. I'll probably start getting ready around like 4. Yeah, so I'm just going to kind of relax and hang out for the rest of the day. I really don't want to do anything, so that's what we're going to do. Decided to take Douglas for a walk. Enjoying his track. There's just one more reason I have a